The Hitman's Bodyguard stars Samuel L. Jackson as one of the world's most notorious hitmen and Ryan Reynolds as his bodyguard who has to get him to testify in court against the evil dictator played by Gary Oldman. And along the way they both get shot at hundreds of times and possibly learn that they could be good buddies maybe. This film was directed by Patrick Hughes, whose last film was The Expendables 3, and his action sequences here have improved a lot since that film. They're more believable, there's less CGI, they're also edited better. There's a really great sequence where Ryan Reynolds has to fend off some thug and he uses all different types of things he can find in this tool shop. It was a lot of fun. And that's really my best way to describe this entire film. It's just fun. It's a fairly ridiculous movie that really makes no sense whenever it tries to be really big and sometimes gets more serious than it needs to be. It rarely exceeds its boundaries as an action comedy and when it sticks to Jackson and Reynolds just bickering back and forth, it works. Sam Jackson is in prime motherfucker form, and Ryan Reynolds is in prime uh, I'm Canadian form. They're both good. If you like their public personas they've created for themselves, you're going to enjoy their characters, even though their characters are pretty thin, because they really are playing a sort of exaggerated version of their public persona. But if you're fine with that, and I feel like most people who go to see the Hitman's Bodyguard are going to be, then you're probably not going to be too bothered by that. A big surprise in this movie was Salma Hayek, who I didn't even know was in the film. She plays the incarcerated wife of Sam Jackson's character, who says she's innocent, but when you learn of her past, you're like, eh, you should probably be in jail, actually. She was hilarious. There's some really great stuff they do with her, even though she doesn't get that much screen time. But that's probably a good thing. I feel like if that character was in the film too much, she would start to wear on your nerves. But she was in it for just the right amount of time, and her scenes were truly funny. But the film is pretty uneven. It bounces back and forth from some really absurd comedy to some equally absurd action, but also some darker aspects that didn't feel like they fit in with the movie. And it also goes on a little too long. I would say about 15 minutes too long. You think it's going to end, and then there's more. And Gary Oldman seems like he's in a completely different movie. He's given a really good classic Gary Oldman bad guy performance, think Air Force One. But it just feels like he's in a different movie sometimes, and that comes down to the writing, which as I said is uneven. The performers and the director are doing a pretty good job here. This is a perfectly enjoyable movie that I think the majority who go to it are going to have fun with. I'm going to give The Hitman's Bodyguard a B-. minus. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more Stephen King reviews this weekend. I have some pretty exciting stuff we've worked on that I can't wait to share with you. As always, you're the best. If you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.